property has never gone sick. My property has never made me redundant. My property has never not paid me. Welcome to Property Investing with Abby. On today's episode, I'm gonna take you through the four ways I use to grow my portfolio. Most of you who've been following me know, six years ago, I started with zero. Today, I'm around 6.5 million pounds of property in the UK. And I started off in debt. So I'm gonna take you through how I went from simple buy to lets to huge big deals, and now I'm doing developments. The first one and the most important one is your mindset. I can't tell you how important this one is. People have written books on this. They call it a millionaire mindset, a wealth mindset. You cannot build a property portfolio and become wealthy with this same mindset that's got you to today. So I talk about a 99% mindset and a 1% mindset. 99% of people do the same. They're in the system and they have the same mindset. Go to school, get a job, work for 40, 50 years, retire. These people never truly live. All they end up doing is working, working, working hard, paying lots of taxes, and they never get the life that they were born to live. Whereas 1% of people, they have a different mindset. They're like, I'm not working for 40 hours a week for 50 years of my life. I'm going to get other things to work for me. My property has never gone sick. My property has never made me redundant. My property has never not paid me. So it's getting assets to make you money instead of you making yourself money. But the mindset is critical. Having a success mindset, being positive, not being negative, not blaming other people. The amount of people I hear going, well, I'm poor and it's the government's fault, or it's the country's fault. That can't be true because we all live in the same country. Yet 1% of the population are rich and 99% aren't. So get your right mindset. So number two is building a strong network. This is having a strong network of people around you, people that are on the same path, people that are going for success, wealthy people. They say that they can tell your bank balance by the five people you hang around with. Because of the network I've built now, if I've got an issue with a valuation, a builder, legals, I know who to ring. I know which of my friends, which of my network to ring. It's super and critical you've got the right network. We do property wealth networks. We hold them in London, Manchester, online once a month. There is no reason why you can't go attend these. Just go and talk to people. Go and find out what other people are doing. And I promise you, you building your network will be weight in gold as you start building your portfolio. Third top tip to help you build your portfolio is team. It's critically important you have the right people around you. Let me give you an example. So when I started off in property, I hired an accountant. What I didn't realize is this accountant, even though he said he was a property accountant, didn't have any property. So when I was talking to him about all the really exciting things you can do with property, like capital allowances, like making a million pounds every year, tax free. Now if I'd have just listened to this accountant, if I'd have trusted him thinking he's qualified, he knows what he's talking about, I'd have never got very tax efficient and my portfolio wouldn't be doing as well. My accountant's got four million pounds worth of property. My accountant understand what he's doing because he's got that. So having the right power team, you need a special property solicitor. Now they'll all tell the property solicitors. Not many of them will do title splits. Not many of them will do private investor contracts. First charges on property. You're going to need that. So get the right power team in place. And the fourth biggest thing that's helped me build a multi-million pound property portfolio is knowledge. You cannot go and do this on your own. I have so many students come and say, hey Abby, I saw you on YouTube, I'm gonna do property. That is literally not gonna work. It gives you the inspiration, but you need to know what you're doing. And I see so many people get in pain, not make money from property, have bad tenants, lose money on property because they literally don't know what they're doing. And that's where touchstone education can help. For example, this is my mentor, Mr. Paul Smith, multi-millionaire, lives in Monaco. This is his book. Have you read it? Here's my book, Flip or Flop, how you can flip property and make 50 grand. So you need to keep educating yourself and it doesn't stop. Even now, six years on, I'm still learning. I'm still developing. And for anyone that wants to be successful, wants to build wealth, it's always down to the knowledge. So that's it, guys. That's my four biggest steps that I've taken to build, go from zero to 6.5 million pound property portfolio, being a single mom in debt with two kids. And that's exactly how you can do it too. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, like the video, tell me which one of the four you're doing and how you're getting on with it. And I'll see you next time.